At this point, we are ready to start into our enhanced categorical analysis. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to start to be able to ask these three questions and be able to find answers to them. So for the first one, this is, does my categorical data follow an expected distribution? So suppose that we are looking at like the ethnic diversity uh, within a specific town. Now, we know we could look at like a census and we know like what is the ethnic diversity in the United States. And so our question could be, does my categorical data follow uh, the distribution from the census? And we could go through and we could actually look at that. And that is called a goodness, goodness of fit. So in order to run this analysis, we need to know like what an expected distribution is or what, what we think that it's supposed to be like. And the null hypothesis there is that uh, it does follow the expected distribution. And the alternative is that it doesn't, that it follows some other distribution. So that's not kind of like the first one that, that, we, can, that we can do. Uh, we actually have kind of done this one when we did like our one sample um, proportions testing. Uh, we actually did this, but it was just with, uh, we were just looking at two variables, and this allows us to look at, or not, not variables, but two levels of classification, and this allows us to look at a lot more levels of classification. We can look at an entire distribution instead of just if one uh, proportion was equal uh, to a specific value. Okay, so that's our first question. The next one down is do multiple groups, I should put an S there, uh, do multiple groups have the same distribution of categorical data? So this one, instead of saying, like, do I follow a specific distribution, uh, if I look at uh, like multiple towns, like maybe I look at uh, Chicago, uh, Los Angeles, and New York, and I want to say, do they have the same distribution of, um, of ethnicities? And we could do that. We could go look at, we could take a sample from New York, take a sample from Chicago, and take a sample uh, from LA, and we could compare them one to another. And this is called a test of homogeneity. And let's go to blue. Homogeneity. And the null hypothesis here is that all of them follow this same distribution. And the alternative, or the alternative is that they, at least one of them is different. Okay, so that's how we do our homogeneity test. Now this last one is like, okay, now what happens if we were to look at two pieces of categorical data? So maybe we're looking at in Chicago or something like this, is we're looking at like the ethnicities and occupations. We want to see are they independent from one another or are they uh, dependent on one another? And this is going to be called a test of independence. So using all of these different methods, we are going to be using a new or a specific distribution. And we've, we've talked about it a little bit, but we are going to be using the chi-squared distribution to be able to help us out with this. And what's interesting is that they're actually, mathematically, there are really only two methods. Uh, these two, the, homo, the test of homogeneity and the test of ind independence, uh, the mathematics behind them are identical. Uh, what separates them is how was the data collected? Is it, are we looking at two variables and just seeing are they independent from one another? Or are we specifically looking at different groups and seeing if the, um, the distribution of the categorical data between those groups are the same or not? And, but the mathematics between them, let's kind of put those together, kind of put these guys together and say mathematically the same. So it, it's kind of nice. We actually really only need to learn how to do two different uh, techniques. And we just have to be able to identify, are we talking about homogeneity, or are we talking about independence here? 
Uh, but yes, for this section of our enhanced categorical analysis, we're kind of diving into uh, how we can do some more intricate uh, analyses with our categorical data.